When it comes to breakfast, bacon is one of our favorite side orders. Its popularity actually goes back centuries to the days when people cured and smoked meats in their own homes. But today, a quick trip to the store and anyone can bring home the bacon. Bacon is now processed and even pre-cooked in factories. It all starts with a load of pork bellies. They're tossed into a big tumbler. The action softens them, so it will be easier to remove the skins. Each pork belly goes skin side down on a conveyor belt. This conveyor takes the pork bellies to a long automated blade that slices the skin away from the meat. The skins drop onto another conveyor belt to be processed into pork rinds. Meanwhile, the meat pieces head toward a flipping device that turns them backside up. So workers down the line can trim off any remaining pieces of skin. Next, they mix up a brine solution which will cure the pork. Salt is funneled into a tank of water. It's mixed thoroughly until the salt dissolves. Then, liquid smoke and other flavorings are added. The pork bellies now pass under an injector head. Its needles repeatedly inject the curing solution into each pork belly. A metal hanger called a comb is pressed into each of the pork bellies so they can be hung on a rack. Then, it's into the drench cabinet for a shower of liquid smoke. As liquid smoke bombards the meat, it adds flavor and color to the surface. The pork bellies are transferred to a big oven. They'll cook for five hours at a low temperature. That allows the flavoring to permeate the meat. Now it's into a blast freezer for a quick chill down, then into another cooler for a couple of days. The cooling firms the meat which makes it easier to slice. The pork bellies head to a sizing station where their sides get a quick trim. They also pass under a metal detector to confirm that no piece of the metal hanger has gotten lodged in the meat. After that, the pork bellies are stacked and wrapped then stored in a freezer until they're ready to be sliced into bacon. This is called the slice line. Here, workers load the meat slabs into chutes. The chutes sway back and forth over a blade, which slices the meat into bacon-sized pieces. The bacon falls neatly onto a conveyor belt. Another conveyor belt rolls over the bacon slices to secure them for cooking in a browning microwave. As the fat cooks off the bacon, it drains into a trough. These drippings will be used to make gravy and pet foods. The cooked bacon now exits the microwave oven and comes under the watchful eye of an inspector. She discards slices that are broken or not up to par. These wheels then roll the brown bacon slices onto parchment paper. A tiny electronic eye keeps track of the number of slices. Finally, the bacon is stacked for packaging. Now that's a job well done. Time to put the coffee on and scramble up some eggs.